new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you Cheed osandero age 30 reportedly attacked his victim at a mcdonald's self-service kiosk on the 7th avenue at around 7 40 a.m on monday the victim identified as 53 year old melvin Dizan suffered a severe head injury and was taken to Bellevue Hospital in critical but stable condition. Speaking to the New York Daily News from the hospital bed, Dizon claimed that no one tried to help him. Quote, I was hoping people were going to help me, but they didn't. They were just watching and they didn't get involved. I guess they were scared. The incident marks the second anti-Filipino attack in Manhattan in two days. On Tuesday, the Philippine Consulate General in New York issued a warning to Filipino residents and called on authorities to do more to ensure public safety. He was arrested on Tuesday after an off-duty police officer recognized him on the subway. He was charged with robbery. Despite reportedly going after his victim, Asandro has not been charged with assault and the incident at hand is not being investigated as a hate crime. Police sources have noted that Asandro has nearly two dozen prior run-ins with the authorities. He was paroled in December of 2016 after being sent to prison for an attempted robbery. In a prior incident, Asandro allegedly bit the tip of a teenager's nose off inside of a Queen's Deli and then attempted to eat it. Police stated that the teenager was trying to defend his mother who was being harmed by Asandro with a stick. After Tuesday's arrest, Asandro was charged with assault for another incident that occurred on the subway on March 23rd. He was also charged with criminal possession of stolen property for the items that police found on him during the Tuesday's arrest. Asandro was reportedly undergoing psychiatric evaluation as of Wednesday. And notice how this um, incident is not really getting talked about. It's not really getting looked at at all and notice how yet again as they stated directly in the article how this is not even getting seen as a hate crime notice how he's not even getting charged directly for it notice how he's had umpteen run-ins with police and he's still out there on the streets so like i said before i don't know what to sit up there and tell anybody at this moment in time but i want to sit up there and tell you this and I'm going to say it exactly like I've been saying it. The story is not getting put into the light because obviously by the skin complexion, the guy is not black or he's not black appearing enough. Right. And then you got the other thing, which is normally right. When stories like this would transpire, you would have a whole bunch of, you know, uh, Asian American newscasters. They would be pushing us to the forefront on Twitter, they will be pushing this directly to the forefront. On YouTube, they will be pushing this to the forefront. Other individuals, they'll be pushing this to the forefront on TikTok. But like I said, because the guy is not black or he's not black enough looking, this story is not getting pushed directly up there. This is why it's not directly in the headlines because realistically, people don't care unless they can 100% make some type of money off of branding a black man as the criminal as the super villain right as the the evil doer who decided to sit up there and do it there's no money involved in it so stories like this and many others when they just so happen that you you might see them in a small article you might see a snippet just always remind yourself the reason why it is so small and it's not going to blow up is because a black guy right is not the face of it they can't use a black guy as the poster boy. They can't put that melanated skin directly up there and use him as the quote unquote boogeyman for everything that is evil while using their own evil force, AKA the police as everything that is good in contrast. 
like I said, it's a game and it's something that's being played. As I've stated before, if these attacks, right, are as important as the Asian community has stated that they are, right? They went to the lengths of getting legislation and getting laws and different things like that put directly in place, right? So I would expect that the Asian community and also the Pacific Islanders, all of them would yet again get together in order to condemn this type of action to make sure that this guy is going to be put away because all they said was like oh he's going in for psychiatric treatment all that means is it's like all right he's going to be there for a minute and then he's going to be released right back out when he passes whatever he needs to pass or however that basically works and he's going to be back out on the streets to do the exact same thing if not worse to somebody else but i'm going to put it to you like this I'm guessing the reason that they're not listing this as a hate crime is due to the fact that he's done crime and it's basically touched everybody, not just a specific group. So, you know, like I said, usually, like I said before, regardless of whatever the record of a black guy would have been, if he would have attacked somebody that was a part of the Asian group or one of the other two groups, it would have been listed as some type of a hate crime. But here it's like uh we're just going to charge him for the stuff that he had on him and from some previous stuff that had nothing to do with you know the harming that took place like i said I, hey it is what it is like i said i expect the asian community to sit up there and roll up their sleeves and to uh start doing some protesting or to start uh shaking some trees on social media to make sure that this dude is not going to get let back out so that he doesn't harm you know another one of your families you know in the asian community but anyways let me know what you guys think about this video and everything that i stated in the comment description below and as always peace love and stay tuned for the next video